Okay. Um, so, are there any questions or comments from the commission on this? I'll look through Davis. Yeah, yeah, whatever Davis comments were. Yeah. Yeah, so any many things that we discussed at the previous meetings would get incorporated into an order of conditions. Well, just the previous order too. Like the yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think the one thing that was in full certification, right? The beta that you guys might be interested in is made a suggestion to the planning board that a representative from our office be on site during the excavation of the stormwater control to confirm any assumptions that we had um, for groundwater. Yeah, that that was the biggest thing. And I think at, at that, we don't get many uh, projects, so they, they just do the, the Vernal Pool certification. On, it's not like the same thing at home, it's live projects like this. And the way, the way, it, the way it's worded um, is, it's not, it's basically, you would, you would, uh, you would before, I think the intent was before the certificate of compliance gets issued, the applicant has to at least apply for that. You know, if they have to do the assessment to see if it's if it's viable, vermin pool that would go for an application. And you guys haven't even looked at it yet. I think the intent was you guys would look at it and it would, would apply. You know, so uh, I think the commission should probably advise the language to say the next available um, review time. Which would be next spring. Which would be next spring. Sure. You know, if we could just tell that as opposed to, you know, it's been three years now. Yeah, that and makes sense. Get it out of the way so we don't get it out of the way. Exactly. Yeah. It was three months away anyway. Yeah. Right. right. No, so, so, yeah. so I would think okay. we would just revise the language. You know, the intent was, you know, just to review it and, and as soon as you can. But I think the way we worded it, it was like. I think it could be done that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's turn sure. that up on. That makes sense. And then uh, uh, Melissa just pointed out so the planning board's recommendation, but excuse me, Beta's recommendation was that an agent from the town observe the excavations for infiltration of structures in the main garden. Okay. That's all. Yeah. Um, I'll probably be there as well. That's why. Okay. I'm so um, using. Planning board retains like an engineer, like Bader. But it's usually Bader that goes out. Right. Yeah, there's another. There's a couple other companies like Planning board utilizes. Yeah, it'll probably be Bader. Yeah, it'll probably be the engineer that whoever they retain. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 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 So typically, when we have recommendations like that, if, if Beta or, or Lucas say we should incorporate this as a condition, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking those documents and incorporating them into the order. Okay. I think that was it. I get a motion to close and approve the notice of intent for 27 Lumber Street. Seven. And, second. So, and all in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? Let's see all set. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Now, is your, is your client planning on putting solar panels in? Easily? They're looking at it, they're leaving room on the roof okay. to allow for it, uh, but they have to look into uh, if they can find something that will work correctly and that will be better for them to go to the payment substitutes. Yeah, so have uh, Mr. Green um, select. Energy is in town. Solar company. Yeah. So one of our favorites. You know, he's got a hockey based company. So sure. Uh, you can use uh, that'd be a, <laughs> a good company to reach out to. Okay. So, huh? All right. Thank you. Good night. 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 Go support the hometown companies, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.